Disruptions to education during the pandemic are scaring people away from a profession already struggling to attract new recruits. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says there are now more than half a million fewer educators in America's public schools than even before the pandemic. That's leading some college students on a different career path, but what could this pipeline drying up mean down the road? All right, CBS 21's Nick Volturo tells us about the teacher shortage and how it impacts the future of education. The outlook is grim for Mark DeRocca. We do have a teacher shortage. It is real. The executive director of Pennsylvania's Association of School Administrators fears the problem is only getting worse. At one time, Pennsylvania was the largest exporter of teachers on the East Coast. Uh, today, our, our colleges are not graduating enough teachers in a given year to fill all of our uh, openings. DeRocco points the finger at budget cuts. Back in 2010, $1 billion was slashed from public education nationwide. And many young people who were considering going into teaching as a career looked around and realized districts aren't hiring. I might go through four years of a teacher prep program and come out and not be able to get a job. Our programs in teacher certification uh, dropped substantially about a decade ago and uh, never fully recovered. A decade ago, Lehigh University graduated more than 100 teachers a year, but those numbers have been sliced in half. I mean, we have a teaching profession that is very low morale because it's constantly being attacked and criticized in the public realm and is used as a kind of political football from COVID to you know critical race theory and beyond. So I think it's, it's a challenging time to recruit for teaching. However, schools like Shippensburg University are seeing enrollment trend in a different direction. At Shippensburg, we're actually not seeing very much of a decline um, in our teacher education majors. Garner credits having an elementary school on campus where students can step inside the classroom, get in an education they won't find in a textbook. This is a place where students can actually see the joys that education brings and um, teachers loving what they do. But even with a slight uptick in enrollment, Garner worries low compensation and poor working conditions could lead to more teachers being burnt out. Yeah, I think school districts are feeling it too. Like they're worried, are we going to have enough people to fill our buildings soon? A recent national study by the Rand Corporation reveals nearly half the public school teachers who quit teaching after March 2020 blame the pandemic. It's been so challenging for them. It's been challenging for our teachers, challenging for our students um, in our K through 12s. Um, they're exhausted. They're stressed. They're overworked. That same survey on covering teachers that quit averaged 55 hours a week, citing the low compensation wasn't worth the headache. You still have to pay the rent over the summer, and so you inevitably had to take other jobs to you know, bridge that gap. For Goodelli, plugging this gap boils down to funding. Without money to pay higher wages, schools' hands are tied. We're all economic actors to some degree, and I would say moving the needle in terms of Income and support for teachers is crucial. Cumberland County is one of the largest growing districts, averaging up to 300 new students a year. Without competitive wages, school officials aren't sure how to meet the growing demand. We're competing with businesses right now that are booming. Substitute teachers also at a premium. The district boosted the pay an additional $25 a day, but still applications are slowly trickling in. Public school districts are not businesses in, in the sense that, you know, we, we don't have, uh, if we increase uh, costs, we don't increase revenue. And some educators are terrified. Without incentives to attract or retain a new crop of teachers, there could be a a real crisis in the classroom. I do worry about that because not only for teacher shortages, but just finding substitute teachers and things like that. People are in it for less than five years, even less than three years. And that's the business model that people are churned in and churned out. Uh, so that I think is really troublesome for sustaining any kind of change in growth um, in a school district. Some school districts are offering sign-on bonuses to entice new teachers, but educators worry even that might not be enough to stop the bleeding. Nick Voltero, CBS 21 News. Here at CBS 21, we have a tip line set up for crisis in the classroom. If there is something you think needs attention, give us a call at 717-857-3614. You can also email us, cbs21tips at svgtv.com.